your drinking water. In Albuquerque, it comes from two different sources. Surface water, imported via the San Juan Chama project, makes up about two-thirds of our supply. The rest is pumped from the underground aquifer beneath the city. Regardless of where it comes from, the water you drink must meet high standards of quality and safety. To ensure this, we must start at the source. If we're talking about drinking water, we're really talking about the customer. What kind of water is the customer going to get at the tap? So it starts there, and then you work your way all the way back to the quality of the water at the source. From the surface water side, we're looking at the quality of the water in the river. We're looking at the watershed management. On the groundwater side, we're looking at protecting and making sure the groundwater contamination sites that exist today are getting cleaned up. We don't want to further that contamination, and we want to protect that resource for the future. With Albuquerque relying on surface water for 70% of its supply, monitoring and protecting the upstream watershed is of paramount importance. Our threats to our surface water supply can be anomalies such as uh, ash runoff from a recent forest fire, uh, potentially a gasoline line break, or potentially a tanker truck that may spill uh, chemicals into the river. We need to be clear on what those kinds of contaminants are so we can take appropriate action to curtail our diversions if necessary. We have to go all the way up into the watersheds really to look at the quality of the water that's coming off the mountain. We want to protect that water from getting contaminated at the source before it comes down the river to Albuquerque. Pursuant to this, the Water Authority has partnered with the Nature Conservancy and invested $1 million over five years for watershed management and restoration in northern New Mexico. Part of our long-term water security depends on making sure that those headwater forests are providing water to the San Juan Chama project and to Albuquerque over the long run. Where the aquifer is concerned, source water quality has been an area of focus for many years. In the late 80s, early 90s, the then City of Albuquerque Water Resources Department became aware, through some, especially through some USGS studies, that one, our aquifer wasn't nearly as large as originally conceived, and two, that there were a number of subsurface contamination events around our watershed that threatened the quality of the drinking water source with respect to public health. Not limited to uh, leaking underground storage tanks and uh, septic tanks, but also some industrial chemical releases. Who knows what the, the potential contamination sources could be, but we're out there, we're monitoring those and keeping checks and balances on those. One area of particular concern, the Kirtland Air Force Base jet fuel spill. First discovered in 1999, it is believed to have taken place over the course of several decades. We're very concerned about that site. We want to make sure that that site's fully cleaned up. We've got contamination that's been going on for decades over there. You've created this problem and then you've got to figure out how to get it cleaned up. We're partnering with them, we're working with them, providing information to them, sharing information with them, and then uh, paying attention to the things that they're doing. Given the threats to the community's source water, the need for ongoing monitoring and testing cannot be overstated. The Water Authority's program is extremely thorough for water quality monitoring. We monitor more frequently than required and we look at more constituents that are required by the EPA and the state. We're always continuously monitoring some parameters at the water treatment plant. Our water quality folks will come out on a weekly basis and measure some general chemistry. And then on a quarterly basis, our water quality folks, as well as some other agencies, are doing very comprehensive monitoring. The Water Authority collects the water samples and looks at the data to see if any changes need to be made operationally throughout our systems. We work very closely with other agencies, local, state, and federal, who maintain and monitor the river, as well as emergency services. Uh, if there's an event that occurs, we're going to be notified very quickly, and we can respond in kind. If there was an emergency spill, we'd be able to take action by basically closing off our intakes, stop pumping water to the water treatment plant, and go to 100% groundwater supply. Some threats to source water quality, like arsenic, come from Mother Nature herself. We have natural occurring arsenic in the groundwater. That's from volcanic formations from 
millions of years ago. The water comes in contact, it, it releases the arsenic, and so it's in the groundwater. While many high arsenic wells have been taken out of service, the Water Authority also uses microfiltration for arsenic removal. So we're actually removing arsenic. We have several of those kind of treatment plants. We're concerned about making sure that we provide you the best water that we can. Source water protection is a complex undertaking, requiring expertise from many different agencies. Helping to keep track of it all is Albuquerque's Water Protection Advisory Board. The Water Protection Advisory Board plays a role in source water protection by identifying points of contamination, sources of contamination, levels of contamination, relative levels of risk for the source waters from which we derive our drinking water. And so the, the public, through the Water Protection Advisory Board's uh, open meetings approach, has the opportunity to advocate with the board to create policies and, and provide advice to the decision makers regarding the protection of source waters. Many agencies, many people, all working together to ensure that the source water we rely on is protected, not just today, but for generations to come. The focus of the source water protection is the quality of the water that comes to the tap to our customers. That's really the number one thing we're worried about. The Water Authority feels that it's very important to go above and beyond in our monitoring because we want our customers to know that their drinking water quality is excellent. We don't want to just meet the standards, we want to go above and beyond what's required by the EPA and by the state to make sure that our customers can confidently drink their water and know that it's safe.